My name is Susie Wee. I'm in Hewlett Packard Personal Systems Group, and I'm the Chief Technologist for Client Cloud Services. Over my career, I've been trying to help people interact with one another using their computers or different technology devices, but do it more naturally. When you first meet Susie, the first thing you, you get from her is really just the intelligence level that she brings to the conversation. She brings a, a different and unique perspective to the problems that we face, and then what technology can we bring to those uh, problems with unique solutions. I grew up in a town called Batavia, New York, which is just outside of Buffalo. One of the best things about it was that the people are very straightforward, very honest, and so that's something that I've carried with me. At 16, I went over to MIT. It's a place where they make school really hard, so where people actually work together and try to help each other. And then at the same time, I played soccer, ice hockey, and lacrosse. Uh, ice hockey was my favorite. Susie's participation in hockey is well known. I don't actually go watch her because I think I get a little nervous seeing one of my uh, star employees out there, you know, throwing her body on the ice. Uh, the evidence I get is when uh, Susie uh, has broken some bones and comes in with casts. All right. Nice game. You know, for team sports, you're really uh, helping each other, coaching each other, trying to motivate each other, and trying to win games together. I've carried that forward to my management style. For her, it's not about the leader. It's about how do you bring the team together and bubble up the, the expertise and letting everybody have a voice in the conversation. The approach that I use to managing a diverse group of experts from around the world is not to force them all to only do my ideas, but to really get the best ideas from all of them. And what we've worked on is you know, letting people be creative, but also aligning people to work towards common goals. We designed a system called Halo and it's HP's face-to-face -face virtual conferencing experience. Uh, it's really about making that personal connection, and every aspect of the technology was designed for that. So we brought designers together with technologists to really make that system. We have about 47,000 engineers inside of HP. Uh, Susie is one of the more senior uh, technologists within HP, and being a woman, she sets the example for, for the overall organization. Being a woman in technology is a lot like being a woman on a mostly men's sports team. I might find that you know, I'm a little bit slower on straight ahead speed than some of the bigger guys that are around me, uh, and yet there's times when uh, you know, I might be more of a playmaker or a passer you know, to actually help, to help create plays and you know, help score goals. I've had a great experience being a woman in technology. Susie was working on video streaming many years before anybody had thought about putting video on mobile phones. So Susie's work is focusing on kind of that three to five years out. And Susie has that just innate ability to bring those, the right mix of people together to take a unique look at the problem and then go off and determine what the best solution is. In the olden days, the cloud was a web page that you accessed through your computer using a keyboard and a mouse. But today we have a lot of innovation in those devices. We have um, devices that have touch, devices that have multi-touch. The web was not made for that. I'm working on a social collaboration project for the touch wall, which is to understand now that you have this large form factor and this large kind of interactive medium, how can people collaborate? What do people intuitively want to do when they're standing in front of it and interacting with it? If we look at the future, it's going to get a lot better.